Hi, I'm Nick from Glowforge. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take care of your Glowforge Spark. The information in this video applies to our Glowforge Personal Series, which includes both Glowforge Spark and Glowforge Aura. I'll be using Glowforge Aura in this demonstration, but you can follow the same steps with your Glowforge Spark. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Nick from Glowforge, and today I'm going to show you how to do one of the coolest things with your Aura, engrave a photo. Mastering this skill will let you create something amazing, just like this. So let's get started. For this project, we're going to be working with light maple plywood. We've also removed the top masking, and that's not strictly necessary, but it can help finer details stand out in photo engraves. To start, head over to your dashboard at app.glowforge.com and click the Create a New Design button, and then upload a file. For this, you'll find that good quality photos will work best, something like this one. Once your photo is uploaded, we can tweak it using the adjustment tool that's built into the app. Just select the image and click Adjust Artwork. Increasing the contrast is one way to improve your photo engrave, so let's do that here. There, that looks good. I'm also going to resize the photo to about the size of a postcard. I can use the resize handles on the corner and the size like this, or I can select a size with the precision tools. Let's go with about 5 inches. Perfect. After this photo is engraved, I want to cut it out of the material. And luckily, one of the premium tools makes it really easy. I can just insert a new shape and then draw a rectangle where I want to cut. And if my shape isn't quite right the first time, I can just resize it. As I draw or move the rectangle, you'll see colored guidelines appear, showing how I've aligned the shape with other objects. I can use that to make sure I've centered my photo neatly within my shape. Because we removed the masking with the QR code before putting the material in the Aura, the app didn't automatically detect it but I can easily find the right settings by searching for light maple plywood in the materials menu just like this. Now I'm going to cut the outline and engrave the photo. As it is, right now, the aura is going to cut out the section and then engrave it, but I want to do the opposite. Luckily, I can easily reorder the steps just like this. With that done, I think we're ready to make some magic. Click print in the top right and the app will take a few seconds to prepare your design and then the button on your aura will start to blink. Let's press it and we'll start printing. If you have a personal filter connected, it will turn on automatically and your print will begin. Keep an eye on it and watch your design come to life. When the print completes, just wait a few moments so the filter can clear out any leftover smoke. Let's see how we did. We already removed the masking from the top, so that's one less thing to do now that we're done printing, but there's still masking on the bottom, so let's get that taken care of. And congratulations, you've learned how to engrave photos. To learn more about using your Aura, check out the Aura Print Basics video series in our Help and Learning Center on support.woforge.com. 